Uh, hi, Carly. Hey. <laughs> you seem to be doing pretty well today. It's nice to see you um, uh, as you are. Um, let's see. I want to go wider. Oh, I guess I can't do that. Uh, can you tell me what you've had done and how things are going? I've had a segmental tracheal resection. And I've had a little bit of my airway cut out so I can breathe again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. How bad was your breathing before? It was pretty bad. You yeah. can hear me breathing. It sounded like Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. Um, and you've had a couple of other operations before this, haven't you? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, that was the transoral, uh, the effort at avoiding this, of course, mm -hmm. uh, by transoral surgeries. Um, also, you, um, I, I notice you have a cup in your hand. There it is there. Um, uh, you're, uh, how many days since your surgery are you? Six. Okay. And yesterday we, we had to put your feeding tube back in for a little while just because it, it uh, seemed like you were aspirating a little bit. But are you, are you swallowing better now? I am swallowing better. Okay. Why don't you take a sip for us and, and, uh, and show us that you can do that without any problem. Okay. I notice you bring your chin down a little bit when you swallow. That's just seem it's like doesn't that feel natural like you're just sort of tending to do that, aren't you? Yeah. Because what you have inside your neck is something called a laryngosternopexy stitch, which is actually holding your voice box down towards your chest mm -hmm. so that it prevents you from having to have your chin sewn down to your chest, mm -hmm. which uh, I think probably anyone who had the choice would want yes. that. Um, because you wouldn't want to have your chin sewn to your chest, would no, you? Yeah. Definitely not. <laughs> um, did you read about that on the internet at all? That that's one of the things that can happen, or did mom read about that? Or um, my mom might have, but yeah. I didn't really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You probably just soon not know. Yeah, I just soon not know. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have anything you want to say to people who have breathing problems after having a, a tube in their throat? Um, anything you want to convey to them? Um, it's a long process and. You have to try a lot of things away from getting away from the harder one, but I would definitely go with the one that you know for sure is definitely going to work if you have the opportunity. Yeah, good, good. Thank you, Carly. I appreciate you sharing that. And uh, are you okay with this uh, uh, being published on the web as an educational? Um, okay, good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot, Carly.